Hey guys, so we did our walk. We, okay, so we drove out to North Rustico. So if you're local, you know where that is. It's beautiful out there because they do have a boardwalk on the water. Um, and it was misting and we're like, we're probably going to get caught in the rain, but let's just do it. Cause it's like raining all day now. Like it's not stopping. <laughs> so, and it's really windy now too. So anyway, we were like, no, let's do it. So we walked in the rain and there's no harm in walking in the rain guys, especially in the summer because it's not cold. Like it looks crappy out, but it's warm as anything out there. I mean, I have a sweater on cause I, I was chilly. Um, I actually like stripped at the parking lot because I had this in the car and um, well I had like my sports bra on so like you know and I just like threw this on and took my wet shirt off because I didn't want to drive home in it and the house is always a little bit chilly with the AC but anyway it's, it is nice out and I was like you know what there's nothing wrong with this it's just rain like it's just rain and he's like oh I know so it was really really good like I, other than like sometimes like the boardwalk was a little bit slippery because of the wet boards but it wasn't like crazy slippery like it was just a little bit like I feel like I couldn't walk as fast 
but we did it. We got our morning date in. We woke up at, oh my gosh, what time were we up? We drove Florence to work and then we head out, then we headed out. So like we were up at like 7.30 and, uh, you know, got, I got Florence breakfast and stuff and I like to cook her breakfast while she's getting ready for work. Um, so she had breakfast and then we took her to work. We went to Rustico and had our walk and it was really, really nice. Like it rained, but it didn't damper anything. Like it was just kind of funny. I'm just so glad that we're not out at the camper. Like I just would not want to be out there right now in this rain. So today I've been just like puttering around the house. I got some of that done. There's still ways to go. That stuff there is stuff that doesn't get hung up. That's like shorts and stuff. I have to find a place for them. So I got a lot done last night. <laughs> Normally I would love to do some baking or something today, but I don't know what I would, I don't know what I want to make. And you know, so I'm like, I don't know. I'm just kind of doing a lot of nothing. I'm watching, oh, I'm watching Bridgerton. You guys, I am not a TV girl. You guys know, like, I don't like watching shows. I don't like watching movies. Like, I just don't have that attention span to sit there and watch something fake. Like, to me, I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I don't want to be doing this. Like, I know that sounds like, I know that's unpopular, but I just don't love that. But now and then, there will be a show that just gets me. And I will watch, like I'll binge watch it. Like I'm a binge watcher. So if I find something that I like, I will finish it in two days. Like that's the way I am. So Sherry, you guys know Sherry from Simply Sherry. She has been talking, like we're in like a, a group chat and she's been like talking about, I think she's mentioned it in her vlogs too, about Bridgerton and how much she loves it. And she has watched it like multiple times. She's like, it's the best show. And, um, so I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to watch it. And uh, so I watched one episode last night by myself. Like Trevor and Alex were watching something and Florence had plans. And I was like, I'm just going to try it. Like, let's see. And I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, I really like this show. So now I'm a Bridgerton girl. So I've been watching Bridgerton last night and today. And I got a lot of like laundry done. And I got some dusting done. And... Uh, Trevor's currently at the store. I'm like, oh, so he's like, Florence's TV broke in her room. And oh, Trevor's calling me one second. He must need something. He did want my opinion on something. <laughs> he's at Walmart right now. So yeah, so Trevor's like, I'm going to Walmart. Uh, so he's picking up a few little grocery things that I wanted. Sorry, guys, I was out of focus. And uh, a TV for Florence because her TV just completely died. Uh, but her TV is very old. I think it was a hand-me-down TV. So it's, it was, it did its job. <laughs> so anyway, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was telling you guys, but anyway, that was today. And it's just like a rainy, cozy day. And uh, I got what I wanted to get done, done. So I'm just like relaxing, watching Bridgerton. And tonight... I'm going to bingo. I have not been to bingo, you guys. When was the last time I was there? Like June, May? Definitely not May. I think it was June. Uh, it's typically like a fall winter thing that we do. Well, typically. I just started going like in the winter. I'm like, I typically go, go I typically go every fall. But um, yeah, me and my mom and my uncle like to go. So my uncle's birthday was the 6th. And for his birthday, I gave him money to go to bingo because he loves going to bingo. And I was like, maybe you can go to bingo. He's like, that's exactly what I'm going to do with this money. So anyways, he's like, do you guys want to go to bingo? So me and mom are going to go to bingo with him. I don't know if I'll get the machine. I kind of want to just, I don't think I'm going to get the machine. I think because if you guys don't know, you can buy like a robot machine and it'll play like a crap ton of cards for you. And then you can play your own cards too. But I think I'm just going to go old school and buy just buy the cards and dab them. I do that anyway. But then plus I have like the robot doing it too. So I think I'll just go test my luck without the machine. I say that. Watch the next clip. I'll be there with my machine. Like bingo, bingo. <laughs> we'll see if our luck from Vegas has traveled back to Canada with us. But I don't know. So anyway, yeah, I think we're going to do that. And it should be a good night. And then... 
tomorrow we want to go out to the camper so trevor is away tomorrow because of poker and me and the kids were gonna go with him and that's the thing like trevor has played poker oh my gosh well since i don't know how long he's been playing since before i came around but trevor like i don't know it's just different now that like because when he when when the kids were babies and I was in just like, like I said, plucked out of my childhood home into wife and mother. Like I just was, there was many years where I didn't know where, if I was coming or going. And um, so Trevor, he, he couldn't travel to play because I needed him home. Like I needed him here. Um, but now we have the luxury that he can do a little bit of traveling for poker, which in turn, it's it's greater for us because it's just a, it, it's a I don't know explain it but like it's like a different player pool like there's just more opportunities when you're not just here you know what I mean so he's actually going away tomorrow we were gonna go but uh, sometimes the kids find it boring like I'm really good to stay in a hotel like if Trevor's out working like I don't mind being in the hotel because I am such an introvert like I can just do like I'm just fine but when it's when me and the kids go with him it's like they don't I don't know like if there's a pool at the hotel or something they're they're okay for a bit but they do get a little bit bored and he's not going to like an area that has like a lot to do you know what I mean so like we're like in a big city and like there, it's not a lot to do like the hotel pool is what you would do or like go to the movies so we decided against it, but what I'm trying to say is like he he can do more stuff like that now. Um, and it's really fun when we can go with him, but we're not going with him. So tomorrow, why am I talking about this? Tomorrow we're going camping. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh my gosh, girl. Someone in my comments wrote, you should start writing things down. I agree. I I need to do that. Actually, I have been a little bit. Like I've I've been planning my day the night before, but I really got to start getting things out of my head a bit too. So I should do that for sure. But yeah, I'm going to bingo tonight. I'm very excited about that and looking forward to that. And hopefully we can be winners. And yeah. But it's been good guys it's been i think i'm at like 10 or 11 days completely binge free and i'm just riding this i'm just riding it whatever i'm doing in the mindset i'm in it is working so i'm just keeping it at like this for right now so we are definitely on the i was gonna say up we're going we're only going up from here we're not going uphill we're just you know Things are just going good, as I'm trying to say. <laughs> Out with the old. In with the new. Florence's birthday is this week, coming up. So kind of perfect timing. Although, I don't know if it's her birthday gift, but... Ellie, what is it? What is it, baby girl? What is it? No machine, just the cards. How's your bonanza? Well, I got as good as yours. I'm down to four on which one was it? This one here is gonna be the winner, guys. This one here. Yeah. Turn the other lights back on. Mm. Power's out of bingo. Drama. <laughs> How early do you have? I don't know, I should ask the kids. We're back up and running name them. You guys, I am rusty. I did not win at all. I was not even close to winning. I that was probably the worst night of bingo I've ever had. It okay, so it was so random because like first of all it was packed. There was it was so so packed. And then all of a sudden the power goes out and then everyone was like oh like big drama um it, it came back on though and then uh so it's almost like 11 o'clock we're just getting home now um it was a long night just because the power went out and like what do you do when the power's out like everyone's paid like they were probably like just like please let the power come on and it did it, it came back on but anyway 
<laughs> my uncle was like not even set mom not even set he's like you guys i guess it's true what happens in vegas stays in vegas your luck is in vegas i was like no no don't say that don't say that we will win uh but we're not officially back to bingo yet like that's gonna be in the fall but it was nice to get there tonight since it's such a crappy night out and it was good to play and um yeah i'm excited to go in and watch some more bridgerton i am obsessed with that show i'm like i love that show so much simon is so handsome don't tell me if he's a bad guy or what like right now he's a good guy i'm just in season one so like just let me love him because i'm not sure you know if he I, I don't know i don't know anything about the show but right now he's a really good guy and i really love him and i think he's beautiful and i'm like oh anyway okay i'm gonna end this video here and i'll be back tomorrow we're going camping tomorrow guys so i'll take you so long for that and my best friend from childhood from um we met when we were 11 years old and she no longer lives on the island she's here now she's on the island and i'm probably seeing her tomorrow so i'm very excited about that and um yeah it's gonna be a good day anyways good night guys i hope you guys are well and i'll see you in the next one good night.